There is nothing more devastating than one day when standing before God to discover that your good works will not save you, that your good life will not benefit you in eternity, that considering yourself as a Christian will not change your guilty position before the Holy God. Unfortunately, this is the sad reality for many Irish people in the Republic of Ireland. According to the website Operation World, over 91% of the people living in Ireland consider themselves Christians. According to the same website, only 1.5% identify themselves as evangelicals. And if you would ask the local pastors, they would strongly argue that the percentage of true believers in Jesus Christ and in Ireland is below 1%. That means the Republic of Ireland has the lowest number of true Christian among the English-speaking countries. As one of the Reformed pastors said, the majority of the Irish people living in the Republic of Ireland have never heard the true gospel. The same pastor said that again and again he has heard people he came to faith or he heard the good news saying, why did no one make that before? Why did they make it so hard when it is so easy? And we have seen young people and children with tears in their eyes saying, my parents need to hear this good news of Jesus Christ. See, God has ordained the church of Christ to be the pillar and buttress of truth for those lost in Ireland. Through the preaching of the true gospel, he draws the sinners to salvation in Christ Jesus. But the question rises, who will go to proclaim the good news to the people in the Republic of Ireland? By the grace of God, we said, here we are, Lord. We are weak. We don't feel worthy, but we are willing to go. And so we moved August 2020 from Donegal to County Roscommon. County Roscommon is quite rural, and that is a challenge in itself because rural community is quite a close community, and it is much harder to connect and to share the gospel in those uh, communities. As you can see, this is um, Roscommon. It's in the Midlands. The religious landscape is similar like the rest of the Republic of Ireland. Many of the people are caught up in a religious or self-righteous system. Adding to that challenge is the problem that the religious identity is mixed with the national identity as being Irish. And that makes it even harder for the Irish people to be open to listen to someone new or to listen to the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And also, liberalism is on the rise. But the good news is that Jesus Christ is building his church. And God has his elect here in County Roscommon. This is our church facilities here. And uh, it used to be a pub, but it has been transformed and changed into meeting rooms. And also we have a bookshop slash coffee shop there. And uh, here on the left, you see our worship center where we come together to worship the Lord on the Lord's day. Especially a couple of years before lockdown, this church here, Grace Community Church, has been tremendously encouraged by God. I've seen how God has graciously drawn people from a community here to Jesus Christ, to salvation. And also a team was sent out to plant a new church in a neighboring county, County Longford. But even during the lockdown, when we are churches were only allowed to meet online, God has brought new people to our church. Some of them just joined in once. And some others are still with us. COVID lockdown has been difficult or challenging for us as a church. It has been very difficult to disciple, especially the young believers uh, online. And it also has been very difficult to do evangelism as a church. Because usually we would use those facilities here to connect the community and to reach the community or proclaim the gospel. But this was now not possible. And also adding to it, was the problem that we were not allowed to visit anyone or meet anyone even on, uh, outside. So it has been challenging for us as a body of Christ to do what we have been called to do, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. But please, pray for us. Pray for our church. If we will be united in Christ 
and with gospel focus. Pray at least that one percent of people living five kilometers around the church will, by the grace of God, come to know Christ. Pray that God would raise more leaders in churches and churches will be planted in counties, communities, towns, and villages where there is no Christian witness at all. Pray for us as family that we would represent Christ in our marriage, in our parenting, in our ministry. Pray for Claire as she serves at home, as she teaches the children at home, but also as she teaches the children in the church. And pray for me as I lead the youth group and as I preach and teach in the church and evangelism and our community. Thank you.